everyone, my name is Yoshi and welcome back to Dark Souls. In the last episode, we upgraded some weapons, got this divine claymore here, and entered the catacombs. And in this episode, we're gonna continue traversing through the catacombs. I didn't fucking do a thing down here. At least I think it's down here, that's what, yeah. I didn't pull this lever. Or push this lever, I guess. I need to do that, because that allows me to actually go forward. And I'm gonna do that just to reset enemy positions, because I know what uh, one of those guys uh, started coming to life as I got here, and I didn't want him to. So yeah, uh, I, I, I need to see if I actually remember how to even get through this place. I'm pretty sure I do. It's not a very long area, but okay, you're stupid. You're really dumb. Oh shit! Ow! Don't set me on fire, you piece of shit. Ow! Jesus Christ! Oh, are you, how are you... What? I don't even know. And all I know is your weapon does bleed damage. I don't like that. Alright. Give me some health. Here we go. Oh, Jesus! Don't hit me with that, you piece of crap. Don't. Don't do it. Alright, up. Die. 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 Thank you. There's an archer somewhere in here who's going to piss me off, and I know it. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is why I this is why the catacombs kinda suck. Because there's like 90,000 guys in here. Where is that archer? Where is he? I'm gonna roll into this pot. Where is that archer? Okay, he's over here. So, oh, he's up there. Alright. Not gonna worry about him right now. Gonna continue on my way. Yeah, hi. No, don't. I kinda need to be... on the guy that's attacking me. You know, that'd be nice. To actually be aggroed on to the guy that's attacking me. That would be nice, game. Too bad you don't always do that. And piss me off sometimes. Because that leads to deaths. A lot. When I'm not locked on to the guy who is attacking me. We've had examples of it in this Let's Play, even. It's happened. No, don't. You're gonna- You're the reason this guy's gonna get away! You skelly archer, fuck off. Ow, I'm gonna heal a second. Alright, skelly archer, I'm pretty sure you're not actually dead. There we go. You are actually dead now, though. Did you drop a thing that I wanted you to drop? No, you didn't! And now, there's a fuck ton of these guys around. Okay, well, you're not completely dead. I don't think. If you are, nice. But I don't think you are. Alright, and the soul of a nameless soldier. That's cool. Uh, is this where I want to be? Um. Yes, I do believe so. I think this is where I want to be. But there are exploding baby heads. That I don't want to deal with over here. But I'm going to have to. Ow, I forgot about that. I always forget. About the things that pop out like that. They're annoying. There are spikes, by the way. They kind of pop out at some of these statues. And they suck. They don't do that much damage. But, uh, they just kind of stop you and make you think. Alright. There. And I do believe that flipped that bridge over. So the spikies are on the uh, the bottom now instead of the top, which is kind of what I wanted. Except I was gonna say I swear there was an item over here. Give me that solo up proud knight. That'll give me some souls. Once I get to uh, another bonfire, I will be sure to level up because by that point, pretty sure I'll have the souls to level up. Especially if I keep killing these guys. Oh, hey, I could, pill could have pillaged his body for something. 
For what? I don't know. Get out of here. But let's try it. Red and white round shield. That, mm, like I said, doesn't do a lot of damage. Other than to my pride. Pisses me off a little bit. But oh well. Alright, come here. Come at me, bros. Alright. Yeah, you're gonna do that. Get. I just... Oh my god, that was very close to just being an idiot and rolling off the cliff. Get out of here. Thank you. I almost just back backflipped off the cliff like an idiot. Alright. Come on. Yeah, you're gonna die. There you are. Another red and white crack gra round shielded whatever. Fuck you. I'm going to assume that's just because my humanity is at 11? I didn't use another human- Oh, I probably picked it up from an enemy. Because that can happen. You can pick up uh, extra- I'm not going to do that. You can pick up extra humanity from uh, from enemies by killing them. But I am not... Not one to rely on that to get my humanity. Uh, typically, I just use the... Uh, the... Uh... Solid humanity. I, guess, I don't know what the hell it's called. There, there are two forms of humanity. There's the humanity in the meter, and then there's the humanity that you use. I know the humanity in the meter is called liquid humanity. I don't know what the ones you crush are. Either way, I have 11 humanity, which is why I'm getting uh, a lot of these drops. So yeah, alright, come on, buddy. I do that. Be an asshole. Fire guy, you're the biggest asshole, and I don't even want to deal with you, so I'm just going to run past you. Because you're annoying. And then, uh, where do I need to fall to not die? There's a certain area I should fall. So I don't die. Oh, it's that. Well, here goes nothing, I guess. Yeah, there we go. I don't want to die. So, oh hey, a green titanite shard. That's a thing I could have used earlier. But, uh, already have. So, whatever. I'm gonna fall down here. I like this guy. This guy's cool. Gone with you. You'll spoil my focus. Oh shit! Hi. That guy's awesome. He's just like, yeah, like you. You would think watching that cutscene, you're like, oh shit, that guy's gonna kick my shit, and then. Uh, and then he just doesn't. Then he's just he just creates the way for you, and he's like, "Go, I don't fucking want to deal with you." All right. Over here is the introduction of one of my least favorite enemies in this fucking game. They're not super terrible in this section. Watch me say that and then die to them in this section. But there is a room later that I will mention that is absolutely dickish with these enemies and that room is why I hate them once we walk in here you'll see there are some motherfucking skeleton guys on wheels like this and if they hit you it, you're basically dead and I'm going to die if I don't heal Yeah. Oh, and see, 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 this is why I hate them. This is why I hate them, because they can do that, and I am now out of, uh, out of Estus Flask, so I might just use a Humanity in order to, uh, okay, that can't get through. Yeah, I'm just gonna use a Humanity in order to get my health back. Not that I really super need it right now, because we're at the boss of the area already, uh, and... I, I, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm not even gonna use this, uh, 
this claymore uh, for this boss fight because I don't need it. I can just use my Uchi Katana and it'll probably be better. So uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna let this boss fight speak for itself once we get in here. This is pinwheel. Now watch. He's already almost dead. I'm gonna I'm just gonna fucking come over here and wail on him. Wait, that's a fake one? Oh shit. Are you the real pinwheel? Yeah, you're the real one. Hey, you need to die, sir. There we go. Yeah, that was the boss. That's Pinwheel. That was the, that was the boss of the area. That was that was the boss, if you can call it that. That is ridiculous. I don't know if you're just supposed to come here earlier. I mean, you probably are just supposed to come here earlier than me and everyone else comes here. But that boss is just ridiculously easy. Like, I don't understand. Why is that boss so easy? It is the stupidest thing. And he gives you, like, a really important thing. He gives you the right of kindling, which I don't know if you read what that said, but it allows you to kindle bonfires past plus ten. So more than once. And I'm, the reason I came here is to get that for the boss that I'm scared of in the area later, in N Orlando. Uh, but, but yeah, he gives you the right of kindling, which is, like, a very, very important item. Why would they give that to the easiest boss in probably any Souls game, plus Bloodborne? So, I, I, I don't, I don't fucking know, dude. I don't fucking know. But anyway... We beat the boss of the catacombs. Uh, if, again, if you can call him that. Actually, we actually did, I think, aside from getting to the first bonfire, we did the entirety of the catacombs in this episode. Not that it's a long area, but yeah, we did the entirety of the catacombs in this episode, so that's pretty cool. Uh, there's no real way out of here, uh, aside from, like, backtracking out of here, and I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. So, uh, in the next episode, I will meet you guys back out at the Firelink Shrine bonfire. So yeah, if you enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls, I would appreciate it if you would leave a like, a comment, maybe even a favorite. If you really enjoyed this episode, I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing if you haven't already. It really helps me out a lot, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!